Right, World Athletics here on Sports World at 16.42 at GMT. We'll hear more from our athletics commentator, Ed Harry, shortly. But our next Sports World athlete to follow is Pauline Korikwiang of Kenya. Now, Pauline is no mean talent, rather like a Binometto a few minutes ago. Pauline was seventh in the World Cross Country Championships earlier this year and part of the Kenyan team that won a gold medal. But she was the fourth Kenyan, and when it comes to qualifying for the World Track Championships in the five and 10,000 metres, that might in itself not be good enough. The challenge facing her has been highlighted again within the last 24 hours. The Eugene Diamond League staged its long-distance races on Friday. Pauline finished fifth in a women's 5,000 metres, which was won by the defending world champion Vivian Cherriot, but she led a Kenyan sweep of the first five places. So again, four of her countrywomen finished ahead of Pauline yesterday. But as she's been telling the BBC's John Nene this week, she is yet to fulfil her full potential, and there is more than one way to measure the success that she's had so far. I came from a poor family, but to this level that God, God has brought me, I say thanks to God because since I ran, my my family at at least it has changed to somewhere. Yeah. So how are they living at home, and how are your parents? Mm, like for 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 now. At least I pay for the school fees for my younger sisters and brothers and also to help my parents to put like a nice house. Yeah. So have you built them a nice house? At least small. <laughs> <laughs> How many rooms? <laughs> four rooms. Ah, four rooms is not small. That's a big achievement. So you're paying fees for how many brothers and sisters? Mm, four, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. But so, you are still in primary school. Oh, okay. Yeah. We, we can say you're not doing badly in athletics. <laughs> sure, athletics yeah. has brought me mm -hmm. somewhere yeah. where I can see I'll be somewhere okay. in the next five years, ten years. So, like your colleagues in the Rift Valley, we can say athletics has changed your life. Sure, it has changed my life, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And when did you start running? I started running when I was still very young in class 5, 2003. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I represent Kenya in African junior. Okay. Yeah. Now, who inspired you to take up athletics? Mm, when I was young, I was hearing somebody like Tekla Lorupe, and she comes from uh, where I come from. Mm -hmm. She lives near our home. Yeah. And I was hearing ab about her and I said one day, one time, at least I'll be like her. Mm -hmm. I'll make it and I'm still heading where she is now. Okay. Yeah. So tell us about your training schedule in the countdown to the World Championships. What time do you wake up and what do you do? Mm, for example, like now I'm, I'm still in school. I wake up at four. I go to class at least like one hour and a half. And then after there, I change. I go for the morning run. After I come back and take shower and take breakfast, I go to class until evening at 4. I go for the evening run. That's a very tight schedule. How are you able to concentrate on your studies and there's athletics here? Sure, it is hard, but if you are serious, you can make it, mm -hmm. yeah. So tell us which major races do you intend to participate in in the countdown to the World Championships? In Diamond Leagues, 5,000, mm -hmm. 10,000, yeah. So you want to make Kenya's team for the World Championships in Daegu, South Korea? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm training for that now. What is your major goal in athletics? To join Olympic champions, mm -hmm. to be at least a Olympic champion. You want to win Olympic gold next year in London? Sure, I'll try it, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, thanks a lot. Eh? Wish you all the best. Thank you. Pauline Korikwiang with uh, BBC's John Nene in Nairobi. There's only one answer to that question. Is there, do you want to be Olympic champion uh, in London next year? Girl, we'd all love the chance, wouldn't we? Um, but just to get to the Olympics and indeed to get to the World Championships for Pauline Korikwiang, and we're going to be following her, of course, as one of our three to follow right throughout the course of the next uh, few months here on Sports World. It's a huge task, isn't it? Yeah, you've got to get through those Kenyan trials. And let's use yesterday's result in Eugene to illustrate how much talent there is ahead of her. Um, Kenya filled the top five places. The winner, Vivian Cherry, is the world champion at the distance. Second place, Lynette Masai. She's the world champion over 10,000 metres. Mercy Chirono, who was third, is the reigning world junior champion at 3,000 metres and the world junior champion at 5,000 metres. 
and she only turned 20 years of age last month and Pauline is 23 so just a snapshot there of what's ahead of you but you've got to be in it to win it and there could be injuries there could be anything but that's such a fascinating dynamic isn't it because in itself you've got to beat your friends and your training partners to get to the major championships to have the chance of winning the medals so I mean you know they are friendships and yet the rivalries must be so intense and there are Americans and Europeans who would love to have the talent that, uh, that Pauline has got uh, and would love to be able to take that into European championships where they would win medals with yeah. the, times, the, the times that she races so it's a blessing and a curse at the same time essentially um, right um, you